Death Valley Days. The rendezvous at Green River was a yearly highlight for the trappers, traders, and Indians along the Wyoming frontier. It was a rough and rowdy affair where furs were traded and whiskey flowed. It was also a place of violence in the spring of 1835. That year, Christopher Carson, the man called Kit, followed a trail that led him to the strangest duel ever fought in the West. It happened at the Spring Rendezvous. Got him with one shot, Kit. Uh, better, Billy. That's all this here gun fires. You gonna fetch him? Sure, I ain't much of a guy, but I'm real good at fetching. Shot through cleaner than a willow whistle. What are you doing? Picking the feathers out of it, that's what. So don't we get to gathering firewood, because we got goose for dinner. Not tonight. We ain't stopping. Well, what's your hurry? No hurry. Just want to be at that rendezvous before dark. You got some special reason for getting down there, ain't you? Just trading. Well, now that's funny. Why? Well, the way you've been mooning around lately, me and the woman figured you had somebody waiting down there. Like who? Oh, like that little Arapaho gal you took to last summer. I'm going to Green River to trade, that's all. Then, then trade yourself a squall. You ain't no good alone, kid. Well, I need a wife for her. I can take care of myself. Well, not any wife. A mountain man needs an Indian woman. A wife that can pack a horse or a mule, or make moccasins, or cook a stew. Right all day if she has to. You ain't mentioned one thing I can't do for myself, Billy. Dang you, Billy Mitchell. That's the first argument I ever lost to a papoose. Well, it won't be the last. Hey, get a move on, woman. Kit Carson here's going down to Green River and get himself a squall. Dang if he ain't. <laughs> Sounds like we ain't the first ones here. 
Well, you better get on down there before somebody steals your gal. Looking squad, holy! What name you go by, Indian? She is Wanibi, singing grass from the lodge of the Arapaho. <laughs> I am her father. She speaks to those I say. <laughs> Banda Savage. Arrête, Dio. Tu vas faire commencer. You understand that? I did any Indian. I did any fresh one. I'm an American. <laughs> what for Americans, my petit bonhomme? I got a stick and switch them like small boys. <laughs> If you're coming after me, you better cut a big stick. That's enough, Captain. I'm Major Andrew S. Drips, agent for the American Fur Company. I apologize for my man. We want no trouble here. Captain, you may go. You, um... You know Kit Carson, I believe. That Frenchman wasn't with you last year, Major. Who is he? Captain Chouinard, a renegade from Canada. A most objectionable man when drunk, which is most of the time. What were them words you told him, Kit? I said he was going to start a massacre. There are 200 Arapaho Braves in the lodges by the river. Will they fight? Oh, yes. They'll fight. The small man comes back, does he not, my daughter? comes only to trade furs, my father. He does not bring furs now. I'm not married. You waited. If I have, it is because my father asks much for me. A man must bring many horses and blankets to the lodge of my father. I know a fellow who'd give all his horses for you, Anibi. Uh, how many does he ask? My father asks three. Uh, no, four horses and five warm blankets. It's not such a tall order. No. Many braves will bring these to my father after the rendezvous. We'll see about that. And won't he be here? Don't go now. Tomorrow I will see you. Tomorrow we dance for the white men. Will you dance with me? I will see. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Hey, Kit, you already got four new blankets. What are you going to do with five? I guess, Billy. You getting them for them three new horses? You get warm. Well, one each, that makes three. You got two left over. That's for them cold and lonely nights on the trail, right? How come you never told me you could count? You may be going to be squaw Let's watch the dancing, kid. She can pack a mule, kid. I know I can pack one. Looks like she's coming for you, kid. You ready? I'm ready. Tender Shanara, you get out of here, kid. Go after your girl. Let this cool off. Find her, kid. <laughs> <laughs> frightened for you. In a moment, the knives would flash. Shunar is a fool. He could have got everybody killed. You go back now. I'm well. You're sure, Wanibi? Yes. It is better I be at my father's lodge when he comes. But... Uh... Later. I will be here. You will come? I will come. Wanibi. These are for you. I will wear them now. You are here. It is you. It is. 
<laughs> Rosie soup and Shinar space, huh? Please, I go now. So they could laugh again? No laugh. Shinar is big man. <laughs> Bien, ma petite. You show Shinar you are sorry for hurting him with the hot soap. Huh? Oh? Oh! No, 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 no. Not fight anymore, my little one. Shinar is too strong. You are too pretty. That is better, my pretty one. Now, you give Shinar a big kiss to say you are sorry, huh? Well, it looks like the groom's all set to call on the bride's call. Are you sure you want to give him Apache here? Well, he asked before, and I told her I knew a fellow who'd give all his horses. Well, good luck, kid. Come on. Come on. Not wise to come, small man. I have come for Wanibi. She does not go. I brought horses, blankets. Is this not enough? You go. Die with others. Die with big one. He bring evil to Wanibi. Shunar? What's he done? Has he hurt Wanibi? He would, but he does not. For this, he must pay, small man. He will pay. Strong as you are, huh? Now I say, which of you want to fight Shinar next, huh? I'll be the next one, Shunar. Well, the little man going to kill the big man, huh? Oh, Shunar is going to like this. What like you going to fight a big man like me? <laughs> I'm going to like this. My God, I'm going to like this. Wait a minute! You'll do as I say or you'll do nothing. You'll get your rifles. On horseback at 200 paces. The way the Indians do. I hear tell he's a crack shot, Kit. He better be. You only got one shot, Kit. So does he. My father says you will need the best horse. One as brave as you. He sends back Apache. Thank you, Onibi.
That bad a shot, Shunar. I could have killed you. It is done, my son. It's done. And he's yours. Is one Ibis. I ask for three. These you have given me. She said four. One Ibi is wise with reasons. She waits for you. Mountain man needs a squaw. More so he who would give all his horses to an Arapaho. Why, you who... <laughs> then Arapaho take all horses, and squaw must walk hills with foolish husband. Well, I'll be danged. <laughs> this I learned from my people. You? You a Rappaho! And so they were married. Kit and Wanibi were happy together, but their marriage was destined to last only a few years. She died shortly after the birth of their only child, a daughter. Kit Carson married again, but the memory of the Indian maiden and the spring rendezvous would be with him the rest of his life. Be with us next week for another true drama from our American past. Death Valley Days. The rendezvous at Green River was a yearly highlight for the trappers, traders, and Indians along the Wyoming frontier. It was a rough and rowdy affair where furs were traded and whiskey flowed. It was also a place of violence in the spring of 1835. That year, Christopher Carson, the man called Kit, followed a trail that led him to the strangest duel ever fought in the West. It happened at the Spring Rendezvous. Got 
shot him with one shot, kid. That's better, Billy. That's all this here gun fires. You gonna fetch him? Sure, I ain't much of a guy, but I'm real good at fetching. Shot through cleaner than a willow whistle. What are you doing? Picking the feathers out of it, that's what. So don't we get together in firewood, because we got goose for dinner. Not tonight. We ain't stopping. Well, what's your hurry? No hurry. Just want to be at that rendezvous before dark. You got some special reason for getting down there, ain't you? Just trading. Well, now that's funny. Why? Well, the way you've been mooning around lately, me and the woman figured you had somebody waiting down there. Like who? Oh, like that little Arapaho gal you took to last summer. <laughs> <laughs> 